Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all spot on and thanks for watching this video now I've been shopping. I've been to Iceland. Come and have a look at what I've got. Um, so since this was new, it's a TGI Friday's range. Um, marinara meatballs with marinara sauce and mozzarella cheese. 320 grams. There is the serving suggestion look. So these were three pounds and fifty pence. So you know I had to get them because it says new on the box. Um, and I've been trying to get hold of these for a while. It was a recommendation go oh, a couple of weeks ago now. Anyway, I've got them and they're in. So I've got also I had a delivery come as well. I'm going to show you what I've got, but I'll, I'll just read you the note first. Um, hi Gareth, a couple of sauces for you and your good lady to try. Um, I hope you enjoy them both. Regards, Steve and the team at the Artisan General Store. Um, so look at this. Look what they've sent me. So so kind, Steve and your team. Thank you very much. Um, so look at these. Um, it's um, Punjabi ketchup. It's quite spicy, look. So lucky getting these sent. And look at these. Is that jo Joseph's, is it? Um, caramel and Belgian chocolate gourmet popcorn an enticing crunch with a smooth rich coating look at them <laughs> and also these as well look um a is that a or i a a pickled um kimchi hot sauce handmade in scotland oh i am a lucky man lucky lucky man so thank you very much steve and the team uh, i will be getting into these at some point and i will keep you updated on on what they like <laughs> but let's have a look at these mari marinara meatballs i'll get that right so as always there is the nutritional information if you want to pause that and have a look at that by all means go ahead and um, there's a little sticker on there doesn't it itce uh, um so we've got a few allergens in there haven't we we've got um a milk and wheat and egg in there um it's not focusing let me have a look I do apologise for the focusing problems here. <laughs> so we've got cooked beef meatballs, 43%, beef 79%. All them um, ingredients, is there any nasties in there? Please let me know. So let's see what it says about them there. At the top there, look, it says, um, marinara meatballs, cooked beef meatballs with tomato sauce and mozzarella cheese. Um, and uh, for best results, see side of pack. Uh, preparation instructions for best results cooked from frozen, which this is. Now it's focusing a bit better now. I don't know why it was doing that. Um, pre oven fan 180, gas 6, remove from out of packaging and film. Place on a baking tray in the middle of the oven for fan 35, gas 40, stir before serving. Let's see what we've got. Oh, look at that. It's fancy, isn't it? Wow. Yeah, never expected it to be like that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Who do we appreciate? <laughs> I couldn't help that. My childish mind. Anyway, you get eight meatballs with some mozzarella cheese by the look of it. Vacuum packed with some sauce look. Cool. Not a lot there, is there, for three and a half quid, but oh, that's the way it goes. So let's do the old seal test on these, see what they're like. So you do get it's like a tab system there look so we'll try and we'll try and get into this this is what it's like this is in real time this it's not me being a biff <laughs> i don't think um it's just this is how difficult it is to get into things <sighs> my goodness gracious me <sighs> probably falling asleep there watching this this is what it's like though i imagine if you're like you know elderly or you've got a hard of you know you, you can't see very well i mean my eyes aren't great but i haven't got perfect vision but you know gonna have to get some scissors yeah it's just it's failed as i'm afraid it's failed for packaging packaging wise i know they've got to make them nice and tight and you know they've got to be sort of sealed properly or the food will just it won't be as good, will it? Obviously, if it's not sealed properly, but we have got to make them a bit easier than that, haven't we? Let's be fair. So that's it. It's coming off now, look. You know, just, it's just, this is a sort of, like, a real worldy review, you know. It's not, I'm not, like, edit, I do edit it a little bit when people walk in and stuff. My kids are around and that, but, oh, it's fell out. 
<laughs> there we go. Well, we can all see it now. Anyway, that's what you get, look. <laughs> it's fell out the cage. So I'm going to do this in my multi-cooker. Um, it's going to be less time and less expensive as doing it in the, the conventional oven. And I think what I'll do, I'll decant that into um, a sort of an oven-proof dish. I know that this is oven-proof, but... Yeah, I don't, I don't trust it, especially in a multi-cooker. So it's going in an, um, um, an oven-proof dish. So it's in there, looking that oven-proof dish. Right, I'm going to get it cooking and I'll probably bring you back when it's done. So they're done. There we are, look. Probably a little bit um, <laughs> overdone. A few like um, singed, singed edges, but never mind, it all adds to the flavour. <laughs> We're not perfect, are we? Let's be honest. So I'm going to have these with some spaghetti. I've got some spaghetti going now. And um, if you like this sort of review, please give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you've not subscribed, well, it's Easter. Go on, push the boat out <laughs> and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment as well. Let me know if you've had these before. Um, this is a one-person dish, isn't it? It's not a sharer, let's be honest. <laughs> well, I suppose you could share it. You couldn't you have it as a main meal, you know, if you're having garlic bread as well. So let's try it, see what it's like. So I've got three minutes left on my, um, my pasta's done. So there, have a look at that. It looks compact, doesn't it? And meaty. It looks very compact inside. It's red hot. Mmm. Oh, yeah. A little sneaky taste then on my fingers. Oh, that's lovely. What a... As soon as I bit into it, I can taste garlic as well. Oh, that packs a punch. Wowzers. No, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> wow. I don't know. Oh, that is tasty. Let me um, let me get a bit of sauce on it, look. Oh, that is good. That is tasty. That just one mouthful, it's made, it's made me day. It's made me day. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, they are lovely. The sort, the the quite sweet as well, but they're so tasty. I'm getting garlic. I'm getting, I'm getting herbs through as well. I don't normally like herbs, but in there, they are making that dish, making them meatballs. Whoa, what so tasty? They're probably the herbs I do like. Oh, yeah, they are good. They're well seasoned. Oh, I'm gonna have to try another one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have none left for me, um, for me spaghetti. That cheese as well, you can, oh, look at them. Look at that. Mmm. Mm. I'm liking them, I really am liking them. That, um, that sauce is so intense, the flavour as well. It's lovely. I think it's probably got balsamic sort of vinegar in, which is reduced down, making it sort of syrupy and sticky. My girls have just turned up. They've been swimming. Oh, that is lovely. I can't wait. <sighs> wow, that is a treat. That is a lovely treat. So my pasta's done. Just looking at the um, ingredients, it must be that red red wine red wine vinegar that's in it. Red wine vinegar, yeah. Tomato paste, concentrated tomato paste. Oh, that's so tasty. My good lady's just come in now and, and had a try and she said, oh, it's, that's lovely. So, you know, I mean, it's gone all syrupy and sticky because I probably overcooked it, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. But it's so tasty and you can always add some... You know, a tin of chopped tomatoes, couldn't you, yourself, if you wanted to? Um, just to sort of pimp it up, but you don't want to be putting too much on there, because that, that, that flavour of that is really good. You don't want to water it down. It's so tasty. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. 
I'm really liking that dish. That's, that's, would I buy that again? It's a one I would buy again. And it's a good nine and a half out of ten. It'd have been a ten if it was, say, three quid. <laughs> or you got an extra three or four meatballs, but everything's going up, unfortunately. It's just the way it goes. And it's new, I have to try it, so. I think this will probably go in out Monday, but anyway, but I'll see, I'll see you on Friday. I'm going live Friday night, 8 o'clock, so. Take care, all the best, and I'll catch you on the next one.